Warning, this video contains highly graphic content, including sex, drugs, violence, and things that just should not be seen by mankind. Do not watch if you are under the age of 18 unless you have direct parental supervision. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, it's Chris Sale, and I'm back with more South Park, The Fractured Butthole. And, uh, unfortunately, I didn't even realize it was going on until it was too late, but Carmen just messaged me saying for me to come back to his house. So, that's where we're going to go. Better run fast. He's apparently got something for me. Speaking of which, I actually need to go back to my house and see all the different stuff I've collected from Quest Rewards. Might do that just quickly. Is this my house? That's Butter's house. Where's my house? Mine is right down the way. Yep, this one's mine. Hold on, it's take Ooh. This is nasty. Okay, later. There we go. Now we climb up here. Ooh. That sounds interesting. Kind of like that look. Alright. Looking good, feeling good. I need you to just keep a low profile, okay? Uh huh. Okay, I, yeah, I kind of like that look. There we go. Grab some stuff from mom and dad's room. There we go. There, little buddy, your dad's moving kind of slow today. Yeah, I don't really care. Right. Get. Scramble fast. No, 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 no. We can't do the Super Craig movie before the Human Kite Netflix series, guys. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what about introducing Super Craig in the second Coon and Friends movie? That'd be pretty DC Comics of us. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, 
But Lord, please have a seat. Sorry, guys, can I have a moment with Butt Lord, please? Sure thing. Come on, fast pass. Uh... Right behind you, Mosquito. <laughs> I noticed that Kyle isn't here. Butt Lord, I just wanted to let you know that we've decided to let you have your own Netflix series right after the Fast Pass Fox miniseries and the third Coon and Friends United movie. Congratulations. Cool. Okay, well, get out there and finish your goals. Just uh, wanted to tell you the exciting news. What do you want, new kid? I already let you dual class. There's nothing left to talk about. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are not going to have three classes. New <laughs> kid? New kid? No, do not give me those sad puppy eyes. Nobody gets to be three classes. <laughs> you think that just because you had to live through your dad fucking your mom, you should get all the sympathy in the world, don't you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. All right, all right, fine. If you were going to add another class, what would it be? Hmm. Gadgeteer. Cyborg. Blaster. Psychic. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. Assassin. Let's try with the assassin. Not sure if you're cool enough, but whatever. Okay, but if you're gonna be triple class, then we have to change your backstory. It is pretty dumb. Let's go back in time again. Back to when you were just a child. You couldn't sleep that night, but it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror. And in the mirror, you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hallway. You walked oh, out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. As an assassin hero, you sharpened your blades and prepared to do what you do best. Kill. Wasting no time, you drew first blood with a quick cut attack on the nearest foe. Nice. Bloodied your target called for his companions to aid him. Hey, that kid has a knife. Oh shit, seriously? <laughs> Lost blood. The intruder swung his crowbar wildly at your face. You needed to get out of the fray and back into the shadows. Get back into the shadows now, okay? That is awesome. Okay. Whoa! Hey, where'd that little shit go? Bewildered, the villain searched for any trace of your whereabouts. I got a bad feeling about this. Ugh. You stealthily crept into position to execute your next move. Oh. Your spin slash sent a fury of piercing knives in all directions. That's awesome. This is for my fellow home invader. <laughs> Mortally wounded, the last standing foe charged at you and let loose a blood-fueled onslaught. Uh. It was do or die. You or him. You decided you had to use your most lethal attack, the deadly die. Okay, that's awesome. So I do enjoy the Assassin's Creed reference there. Shoot him, see what hit him as he slinked back into the shadows. That kid's like some kind of super assassin. <laughs> the alien took you by the hand and led you into a dark room. And that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. Whoa, boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry. Were the aliens helping you by showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. All right, get back out there, Butt Lord. You still have a lot of things to do. All right.
That's, I've been looking for a movement speed booster for a while, but I don't know. Alright, well, anyways, let's keep moving. New kid, this is Fat Bass. Get to the playground. One of the Freedom Pals is calling us out. Need to get somewhere fast, new kid? I guess this is the fastest one. Yeah, I've noticed. See you, new kid. Later. Come here, Forthy. I'll show you how to pop wheelies. Vomit Cop 7 video game. Huh. Ay, ay, ay. Here we go. South Park could use some more female heroes. You're sure one of the Freedom Pals wants to meet with us? Yeah, his text said it was very urgent. Yeah, but why would the Freedom Pals want to talk to us? Unless this is some kind of trap. Relax, coon friends. I didn't come to fight. <laughs> Hello, Toolshed. Long time no see. Toolshed is a gadgeteer class visionary archetype. And a butt-fucking traitor. Just listen to me. I understand that the new kid helped take my dad's keys last night. New kid, I don't know why you were looking out for my dad, but I owe you one. That's all I came to say. You might be in the wrong franchise, but if you ever need help, I'll return the favor. <laughs> oh, oh, you think the new kid fucking cares about you? You belong to a loser zero income franchise that's run by a douchebag in a wheelchair. At least he's not a fat little phone stealer. Uh, <laughs> you call us losers when the only way you can get a lead is to steal it? Where is Dr. Timothy's phone? Sorry, freedom pussies. That info is classified. <laughs> you guys need to stop investigating the Chamber of Commerce and leave it to the professional superheroes. Oh, yeah, you guys are the professional superheroes. It just so happens, Mysterion, that we already have a connection with Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, we do. We're just about to get the Human Kite Netflix series off the ground, so... No, Timmy, no, no, stop it. Stop, <laughs> stop, stop it, Timmy! He's trying to rape my mind! Ah! Ah! They don't have a connection at Netflix. Freedom Pals just raped my mind, you guys! Let's get these pedophiles! Coon and friends assemble! Freedom Pals, unite! Civil War II, it's going down! Oh, boy. Matched. Give up before you embarrass yourselves. Going for blood, guys. You're the disease, and I'm the king. Don't mess this up, dickbag. How would you like a screwdriver sandwich, coon? Aye. You wield those tools like a... Sir, your turn is now property of soon and friends. Here we go. What? Here comes the cavalry. Fighting Dr. Timothy is a mistake beyond your comprehension. Microaggression. Hit him. Uh -oh. Dang. Call that an appropriate application of force? Taking a blood sample now. Fresh blood. Blood type A, you must be a fucking know-it-all. This is for scrambles, you bastards. to apply some light pressure to those wounds. Punch someone for the coon, fart lord. There we go. I'll drink to that. Time to show off my tool set. Every tool has its place in the fight for freedom. Then that really hurt. My 
friends are watching. Watch me, watch me, and I'm gonna do something. Watch me. I don't want to beat up on the I'm kindergartners. Whoa! Whoa! See you being your pants. Let's beat these poopy heads. You're outmatched. Give up before you embarrass yourselves. Formidable as always, Mysterion. Not even a citronella candle will save you now. Go. Fucking finally. There you go. Can I lick the blood off your claws? Can I? No way, dude. That's fucking gross. Sorry, little kindergartners. Look at butthole go. I'm ready to break out the heavy equipment, guys. Uh. Nail, meet hammer. Captain Guy B, prepare to strike. on the plate. You gotta be kidding me. I cannot believe I just messed that up. This is a superhero team. I can't do it by myself. I think it's time to try to summon. Knocked down left and right. Pow, pow, pow. You made a funny face. I don't want to play anyway. 
Oh. There we go. Just wondering if maybe he has some kind of costume for me quickly. Always worth checking. Updated the menu, kid. You either innovate or get left behind in the taco business. Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. Meh. Come back anytime during business hours, I mean. All right. <laughs> You'll never get in here, super fool. Here we go. Fastest kid in town. That vigilante has given us all something to believe in. There you go. Thanks, Jimmy. Kid. I'm glad to have you in town. Now let's discuss your race and ethnicity. Let's determine exactly what you are. White. Wow. American. Race and ethnicity are very different things. Nice. It's your many splendor journey. Let's determine exactly what you are. White. American. Race and ethnicity are very different things. Nice. It's your many splendor journey. Right. You see, that wasn't hard, was it? Now that you know how to define yourself, you can go back to making people pay for not identifying you and others correctly. I'm glad I know a little more about you, kid. Now get out there and kick some ass. Gosh, darn it, I don't think that vigilante's setting a good example for the young folks. Another round? Okay, I guess. There we go. Attention all coon friends. We have the information we need and are ready for our next mission. Everyone report to the coon lair immediately. Coon us. Perfect timing, Cartman. Oh, slowly but surely that character sheet's getting filled out. All right. And back we go. I'm the Fastest kid in town. See you, new kid. Later. Or see you in all of, I don't know, 
Five seconds? Maybe less. No, no. Not less. More. What am I saying? Alright. Get. Scrambles. Fast. Captain, there you are. Jesus, took you long enough. Have a seat, butt lord. All right, everyone. Butt lord interrogated Classy and found out our next lead is at the U store it here in town. We need to infiltrate it tonight. It can't be done. Why not, Mosquito? Because the U-Storant entrance is all lava. The whole thing is fucking lava? Shit! There has to be a way to get past it. There is... Tool Shed. Tool Shed? What's that donkey fucker have to do with anything? Tool Shed has a device that clears lava, remember? It's one of his superpowers. Hey, and Tool Shed said that he owes the new kid a favor. Well, looks like you're gonna come in handy again, Bud Lord. Super Craig, write an anonymous email to Tool Shed. Tell him the new kid is ready to have his favor return. Everyone else, go home and get in bed. We meet at the U store in tonight. To bed, everybody! <sighs> Coon friends are on the cape. Go on home, Butt Lord. If all goes according to plan, Tool Shed will meet up with you later. Just be careful. Tool Shed is a two faced, backstabbing butt sniffer. <sighs> oh, right. There we go. Alright everyone, I think that's a good time to call this an episode, it's getting late, and, well, at least for the new kid. But yeah, uh, next time we'll be sneaking out to try and find that cat. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you for the next one.